How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Down to Earth with Christian Harloff. This is our Monday through Friday daily UAP news channel. So we like to report on the stories that are coming in and what people are talking about inside of the community, give our thoughts on it, show you a little video, get your thoughts on it, all that and more. So if you are, and I'm getting a lot of great feedback from you guys, we're approaching 20, man. I was hoping to hit 20. We're getting to 20,000. We're going to get close. We're like 19.1 right now. So if you hit that button, you'll be a part of it. If you want to see longer form, you want to see longer um, conversations, I, every Tuesday on my other channel, on the Christian Harloff channel, I do a UAP Tuesday. It's a full hour, hour and a half show. I have some really great guests. We just had Danny Sheehan on recently. We had Tim Gallaudet on recently. We have um, Jesse Michaels coming on next week, uh, working on Avi Loeb. So some great guests over there. So if you want to subscribe to that channel, do that. But speaking of Tim Gallaudet, we actually cover on tomorrow's show, we talk about his, he's been talking a lot. He's been talking a lot. And this is a former rear admiral. And he's been talking a lot about the importance of the, the conversation itself about USOs and the conversation with, uh, the, that we should be having about NHI and, these, and, and how he would be a whistleblower. And he's been having many conversations. He had a full conversation with myself. He's been, he just did a full thing in, uh, for the Soul Foundation. He's been having conversations about this and showing how important it is that we take this serious and that the DOD talks about and shows more what they know. So Ross Coldhart was talking about that today on his podcast, and this is the conversation that they had about Tim. Here it is. I know it's a huge job, and and the thing about it is Tim's really sticking his neck out. I think I think um, you wanted to make the point that he's been saying things recently that are just oh. quite extraordinary, and I think we need yeah. to remind people that to have people of his prestige and background making statements like what you're about to reveal is incredibly important. Well, I mean, it's no big reveal, although because we hear it all the time, but not from somebody of his stature. And I want to remind everybody, the person we're talking about is a rear, former rear admiral, which again, is not, is not a job title that the government just hands out like a piece of candy. You, you really have to have the, the status to have that uh, title. And he's also, again, run the NOAA, which is, again, is a very important uh, job. So what he's been doing lately that I think kind of rocks me back is he's been saying there are multiple species interacting with us. So he has leapt from, yeah, there are some uh, cases that happen that we don't know exactly how to explain, but they appear to be technology that we don't understand to now there appear to be multiple species interacting with us. And this guy, to see him, I urge people to go look at anything this guy says, because you and I both know he has gravitas. He has exactly what they want from these so-called whistleblowers who might come forward. So just because there are whistleblowers waiting in the, in the, in the, you know, in the wings to, to come forward doesn't mean that there aren't some of the retired people who are already doing it. So yeah. we have not stopped. It's not, dead, it's not a full stop. Right yeah. now. So if you see what I'm talking about there, this is important all the way around because you've been watching this channel recently and you've been looking at the overall feeling inside of the UAP community is that there is frustration is that there is this um, this bit of what's happening is it slowing down and there was that conversation today on Ross Colhart's show that said there's still things going on behind the scenes bear with us and I get that and I understand that I understood Ross Colhart's point where it's like look we're, there's things that we have to do. And we, we have to take, we're taking risks, and there's, there's a way that we have to do this that for people who are watching, you know, it's not as easy to just say, here it is. This is what we're doing. This is it. Here's the information. Okay, you guys wanted it. Here it is. It's not that easy. I understand that. But you also have to understand our point of view, our perspective is that, especially for people who are getting into this um, and learning about this, let's say recently, it's one of these things where we're hearing the information from people, whether it's, I don't know if necessarily Ross Coulthard said this, but there are people who, uh, whether it be a uh, James Fox, a Jeremy Corbell, uh, Lou Elizondo, that things were coming in 2024. Things were coming early in 2024, and it's been a slow drip thus far. So you can understand that no matter what it is, if it's something as important as this or something as Trivial as, as say movies and TV, it's like you, you got you got a new TV series and it's coming out in January. 
Yeah, we had to push it back. It's coming out in April. Yeah, it might come out in 2025. People started to go, oh, that's, you told me it was coming out this time. And that's, again, something as trivial as TV and movies. But when it comes to this, it's like, well, you guys know some stuff. or You can figure out some stuff. Let us know. And I think Tim Gallaudet is one of those guys that's doing that fight of saying, look, this is, this is what I know. And as I said many times over, I asked him, would he, would he testify? And this guy, like that, yes, didn't flinch. Didn't think about it. Yes, I would. And you hear the, what he's talking. You hear how passionate it is about. You hear all the information that he has. It makes a lot of sense that he should be. Um, but the thing that struck me inside of this conversation and the things that Tim Goddard said, the different, like, it always, my mind always kind of goes in a thousand different directions when I hear, like, the other species conversation, the various species conversation. We get into it in depth, myself and Mark Riley, and talking about, like, the depths of the ocean and, and what kind of technology you would necessarily need to do that and how long you'd have to be working on a particular piece of information in order, excuse me, um, technology in order to be able to um, survive down there and do all that, right? But the idea that it's just, like, there's something there. There's different species. It's like, it's, this stuff's mind-blowing when you, when you continue to talk about it, right? But it does lead up to the to the thing I've been saying on this show and that many people have been saying, I've been seeing a lot in the comments too. It's like, yes, A, we want to believe. B, we do believe. C, doesn't change the fact that it is the same type of stuff. There's people who go, I know stuff. We got stuff. Don't worry, we're working on it behind the scenes. We're going to get it. And it's going to be frustrating for those people who are working on it, like Ross Colhart and these other people who are working on it to go like, Guys, take it easy. It's not, it's not as easy as you think it is. And when they finally do something, they're like, all right, are you guys happy now? And the answer will probably be, it depends. It's just the way it is. It depends. It depends on what it is. Does it move the needle? The needle needs to be moved. Um, but there's a lot of things that happened over the, this past week that uh, there's a real, uh, weird article that came out in the same article that, um, that Kirkpatrick posted his thing. Uh, a couple months ago, the same science journal, I can't remember the name of the, the, the publication, but they posted an article essentially saying, how would the, in a hypothetical that the government said, aliens are here, how would the audience, how would the, uh, the public, how would they take it? It's like the same, the same publication that was telling, you know, that was having Sean Kirkpatrick basically say, no, 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 nothing to see here. It's now going, oh, hypothetically, what if? So we discussed that and more. But I highly recommend listening to that Ross Colhart episode. To, and I recommend exactly what they said also. Look at what Tim Gallaudet is saying. Anything, whether you want to go back and look at our interview, you want to look at some of the stuff that he's doing in general. And once again, if you're brand new to the channel, thank you for being here. Hit that subscribe button. We try to post a video every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we'll see you guys very soon.